Hello everyone, this is Lance with NinjaScript Education here at NinjaTrader. Today I'm going to be showing you and explaining the different sync options we have when running a strategy within NinjaTrader. So to begin here, let's just take a look at a basic 5 minute chart. And on here, let's say I have a strategy that I've been using for a while and I want to run it on the chart. So let's go ahead and left click on the strategies here. We'll have a list of strategies to choose from. For this example, I'm just going to go ahead and use the sample MA crossover, one that comes standard within NinjaTrader. I'll leave the default values and I'll go ahead and set enabled from true to false. Or I'm sorry, from false to true. And as I scroll down, we have one option here that we're going to be discussing in more detail, the sync account positions. Right now, I'll just leave it on the default setting and I'll show you what happens when I go ahead and click on OK. So here it's gone ahead and it's plotted those SMA lines that are within the, the strategy and it's also plotted the executions as well. You'll notice here it's kind of jumbled, but there would be a trade that would be currently in, process, in progress. So this is signified when I click on the control center. We see that the strategy has this yellow text here. That means that it's waiting for the position, the strategy position to become flat before it's executing. So we have four different combinations. We previously just showed you on the strategy here. If I were to look at the properties of that, click on this sample MA and scroll down, we had the sync account position property. Paired with that, we have two other options that are within the options of NinjaTrader, so I'll open those up and explain those right now. So from the control center, I'll go ahead and go click on Tools, and then go to Options. And once I click on Options, I can click on the Strategies tab, and then NinjaScript. And in here, we have two different options. It says, on starting a real-time strategy, we can either wait until flat before executing live. This is the default setting and what we're currently on. So we have the strategy that's running here, and it's currently waiting until the strategy position is flat before it executes live. The second option here would be immediately submit live working historical orders. So that would mean, well, let's go ahead and check this and click on OK. And now disable and re-enable our strategy and see how it looks. So now when I re-enable it, we have our strategy that's it now has green hair because it's currently in a position. It says it's currently short one, and we see the average price. If I move back to the chart here, we have the average price of 162625. So if we look on this chart at 162625. We'd see this is where this pink arrow was signified on the chart. So this is where the strategy is currently short from. However, if we were to click on our accounts tab, I'm sorry, our positions tab, we would see that we are currently not in a position, so we're completely flat. That's because the strategy position is currently short, but our account is currently flat. If we wanted to sync our account, to our strategy position, we could do so by changing the strategy settings. So I'll go back to the strategy, I'll disable it here. And once it's disabled, I can right click on here, go to edit strategy. I can change that sync account position from false to true. And once I do that and click on OK. Now when I enable it, order, order filled. We hear that we've just been filled on an order, and we have our strategy position, which is still the same as before. It has the average price, it has the unrealized, but if we click on the positions tab, we see that our position was short at the current market price, which is a bit lower. And if we click on the chart, uh, we can monitor the trade. And so the strategy has been synced in that our account position is now in sync with our strategy position. So our account position here is currently short and its average price was entered in at 16.23.50 but the actual strategy itself had shorted at this 26.25 price. So they are different but they are in the same direction. So that's one way we can sync our account position. The other, so let's go ahead and disable this and flatten our orders. So I'll just flatten everything. Order, order filled. And now we'll show the other option where I'll go to Tools, Options, and now our Strategy, and NinjaScript, and we'll go ahead and select Wait Until Flat Before Executing Live. So let's go ahead and click on OK. And now that we have our strategy set up here, I can right click and go into Edit Those Settings again, just to show you. 
As I look down here, we still have our sync account position set to true, so I do want it set on that, so I'll go ahead and click on OK. And then when I enable this, we'll notice that it didn't. we didn't hear any orders being submitted. We are still waiting until the position, uh, waiting until we're flat. The strategy position is flat as it goes through here, and we have another cross. So it's not submitting any additional orders. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing. I'll disable this. And I'll go ahead and just submit a manual order on here. So we're doing the ES, so I'll select that from here. I'll just do a, a buy market order. Order, order filled. So if I click on the positions tab, I'll see that I'm currently long. And if I click on the strategy tab here, and if I enable this. Order, order filled. We heard that it did submit an order. It's still waiting until it's flat, but if we click on the Positions tab, we see that we're currently flat because it, it synced the account position to ensure that we were flat beforehand, so it did automatically submit that market order to ensure we were flat. Um, so those are the four different options we have when we're syncing our account positions. Just remember that you can sync it. You set the sync setting by going to Edit. We disable that. Right-click on that. Go to Edit Strategy. We'll set the sync setting on the strategy itself to true or false if you want it to automatically submit orders for you. And then click on OK. The other option is just whether or not you want to track the historical orders. So as I go back into options, on the strategies tab here, we have those two different options. We can either wait until our strategy is in a flat position before it executes live, or we can have it immediately submit those live working orders historically so we can monitor those. And one other thing I do want to know about the immediately submit live working orders here is if that you had if you had a connection loss at some point and you are restarting your strategy and you use immediately submit live working orders, it is going to go ahead and look and see if you do have a historical order that is currently running from the strategy. So you would be able to re-enable your strategy and have it resync um, with that order. Um, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you learned some valuable lessons from this tip. And if you have any questions or concerns at any point, please feel free to go ahead and shoot us an email at support at ninjatrader.com. Thanks and have a great day.